Oh, whoop, whoop, where's Mario? You guys can't see him. He's he's nowhere to be found. He's gone. He died. No, he's just right over here. Anyways, hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we were doing missions in the Dusty Dune Galaxy, and in this episode, we are going to finish this galaxy. I do apologize in advance if we're taking two episodes with one galaxy. It's just these missions are extremely long, and oh my goodness, it's just so long and tedious. Anyways, starting off this episode, we are doing a speedy comment. Now, this mission is the exact same one as the um, second mission of this galaxy, where you have to go through a bunch of obstacles and go whatever and whatever we did in the second mission of this episode of this galaxy is basically we have to do again, but we have way more than enough time to complete it. So while we're doing this mission, since it's the exact same one, there's nothing has changed, I'm going to talk a little bit about my childhood. Now, the reason why I want to talk about my childhood mainly in this video is because, I don't know, it's just been on my mind, and I usually say what's on my mind in these videos to kind of get my mind off some stuff sometimes, but today I want to talk about my childhood. I wanted to talk to you guys about weird dreams I had when I was a kid. My dreams when I was a child were so freaking strange. Oh my goodness, and I, my friends who are probably watching this already know what I'm talking about. They already know. And they're watching this like, oh man, he's going to tell that story. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to say a few dreams I had when I was a kid that I do remember because I had them so many times and they freaked me out every single time I had them. So when I was like five, or when I was like around four or five, I had this portrait. I guess it was like an Aladdin poster, portrait, whatever, that was in my room when I was a kid. And I remember every night before I go to bed, a little white... Oh, a little... Or I'm going to skip that star bit, apparently, or that star chip. Anyways, a little white, like, glimmer of light would, like, shine on the poster every night. It was, it was strange, because it did it in the same way every single night before I would have this strange dream. And I'm like, okay, what the heck is going on? Because I had no idea. So every time it flickered and I went to bed, I would have a dream that was watching a uh, Land Before Time commercial. And I remember when it was showing, like, the phone number that the commercial had, a something was running towards my TV screen beyond, like, in the commercial. And I remember something was popping, so, like, as soon as I got close enough to the TV, something popped out of my TV. And it was moving really freaking slow for whatever reason. And I can't identify what this thing was that came out of my TV screen. But I remember it chased me. And it was really slow. And I'm like, uh, what is going on? And no one else could apparently see it but me. And so I was like, okay, this is getting weird. What's going on? And it was like, I, I, again, I can't identify what this thing was that was chasing me. But something was chasing me. And I was getting, to, I was getting a little freaked out. Because I had no idea. It was strange. I don't know. I, I can't. And the same dream would happen every night. And I remember waking up at the exact same time every night. Because I keep waking up from this dream. And I would sit in front of my mom's room while their doors closed. While they were asleep. Waiting for one of them to wake up to get a midnight snack. Because I wouldn't go in there. I would just sit there and wait for them to come out. And... As soon as my mom came out, she probably expected me to be there because it happened for like a week straight. So my mom, when my mom opened her door to get something to eat, she would allow me in her room and sleep with her for the night. Remember, this was when I was like five years old. And to this day, I still don't know why I had these dr this dream. I don't. And it was beyond strange. Um, I had other weird dreams when I was a kid. I remember when I was seven years old, I would um, have this dream that I was being chased by Venom from Spider-Man. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and I was afraid of Venom for the longest time because of that. So these dreams, are, I don't even know. This, these were the reasons I couldn't sleep by myself till I was like nine years old. I'm not even kidding. I, I would have these weird dreams at night. And I'll get to a little bit of them more in a second here. I'm just going to explain that we do indeed have a green star in this galaxy. We have two secret missions we have to take down. And we're probably going to do the green star one first because it's a green star. I'm like, oh my god, it's green. I want it. And it's our last green star of the game. So going through blasting through the sand again, not only did we do this freaking speed comment, we have to go through this a third time. Yeah, that's redonkulous, right? 
Okay, so while we are, I'm going to talk a little bit about the game before I get into a little bit about my dream so we can explain where the secret mission lies. Okay, we got to do all this nonsense again. We've got to wait for this Pokey to spawn. Hurry up, man. I just want to jump on your head. Wow, I missed. There we go. We got some nice Star Bits from this. I forget how many Star Bits. I think, you, I think this is a Hungry Luma mission, and you need 20 Star Bits to do it. And the Hungry Luma is none other than under here. Yeah, I didn't... Whoa, Mario. I'm trying... Why are you sliding? It took me forever to find this one because I never bothered to look underneath the galaxy for it. But anyways, here's the Hungry Luma, and we need 20 Star Bits to do it. And I am just talking. I'm surprised I'm not getting any tongue twisters, or I'm not screwing up my words or anything. But he's not that... He has a very low metabolism because... Or a high metabolism because he doesn't require much to feed. And he will spawn a giant pyramid planet thing. And if I do recall, I think this is a um, silver star collecting galaxy mission. Am I right? Yeah, because we're going to go in the pipe and then we're going to appear inside the pyramid where we have to collect green stars, which is one over here. And now to activate, now to go through this gal or this planet, you're going to want to step up here this green spot and it will move the sand. And basically we're going to navigate and collect uh, four more silver stars in here. Okay, so now that while we're doing this, I'm going to explain my dream I had. Or what... Wait, what was I talking about before? Oh yeah, I was talking about why I was afraid of... I was afraid of Venom from Spider-Man. And I'm telling you right now, these dreams I had when I was a child, they were ridiculous because... Oh my goodness. I could not sleep in my own room for about a month because of these really strange dreams. And I remember one dream in particular that I can remember was when I was like 7 or 8, I was in a Mario level in my, one of my dreams. I was like, oh yeah, this is awesome, in a Mario level? And it was just, no. I thought it was awesome for a time, and then I realized this was a nightmare. Because when I was a child, I was being chased by a freaking giant puffer fish thing. And it, when I was swimming through the, this one mission, I guess it appeared right behind me while I was running, and I was being chased by it, and I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna, uh, it was a, it was a nightmare, it was awful, so, yeah, it was, it was beyond strange, <laughs> I, I think I'm, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, I talk about weird dreams, and I'm telling you, I had weird dreams, the, oh, there it is, no, 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 it's mine, thank you, oh, this mission usually takes me forever to do because I never know where the freaking um, uh, silver stars are. And I know I'm all over the place again in this episode, but there is our green star! <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Anyways, there is our third green star, which will now allow us to go to the trial galaxies. And I believe we're going to get spawned right outside the common observatory. Yes, I'm correct on this. I am very much correct indeed. Okay, you're gonna pull. Follow... Ooh, 60 stars! We are halfway done with this game already? It's only four. It's only 15 episodes! Yeah, yes, we managed to cover all the green power stars, and now we can get access to three new galaxies, which are the trial galaxies. The hardest in the game. These galaxies are really hard. And as I mentioned before, we are going to be doing them at the end, or near the end of the game, where we have like the last three stars to get. Those will be the last three we get before uh, finishing the game. So since we are walking to the bedroom dome, and I've been talking all this time, there's no need to cut here, because I'm still talking. And usually when I'm talking, I don't cut what I talk, because it's kind of strange when I do that. I believe we have one more mission left to do in here before it's completed. And then we can be done with this galaxy. Sounds about good because I'm kind of getting sick of the desert. I usually don't like desert uh, uh, missions in video games. I do like them better than water missions, though. I really do. Now, hopefully I can remember where the uh, s um, the secret mission in this one is. Because I, I, some, I mostly forget. And I remember the first time I played this game, I had to look up a guide on how to do it. Because I could not, for the life of me, figure it out. Alright, bird, I don't need you pooping all over the place here. Or placing bombs. I missed a one-up. 
How did I miss the one up, man? I was trying to get the coin, I missed that, and then I missed the one up. Oh my god. And I probably missed the health extension too, that was over here. Hey, look at that! It's the freaking launcher that we need to go to. Okay, let's see if I could find the uh if I could find the secret uh mission area. We're going to collect these green these green stars. <laughs> these star chips. Okay, come here, Koopa, we're gonna need ya for one. There's one over here. I'm just gonna grab that and get back up. Now there's a treasure. Oh wow, there's a lot of star bits in the background over here, and I did not notice that. All right, let's see if I can do this. I freaking did it again. I did this the first time too, and I. Ugh, why? All right, let's try this again. I always Mario. Thank you. Oh, there's a third star chip. All right, I always manage to screw this up in one way or the other. There we go, and then I have to go back up again. All right, well, first of all, where's the fifth star chip? Is it? I don't even remember where it is right now. Can we look around and find it? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get this one first. Oh, please get it. Thank you. Actually, I think the one, I think the last one's down here, isn't it? Is it? Oh, come on! I'm not this dumb. Where is it? Mario, you're not. Oh, it's right here with the freaking dry bones. Are. Uh, okay. Get out of here, dry bones. I don't really care for you right now. And then we have to go back up there and do that. So. Okay, so we are climbing up here and going to get this star launch star thing. Okay, now the secret mission I believe is on this planet. It is on this planet. You're gonna want to hit this, and there'll be musical notes coming out, and you're gonna want to collect them all before the planet gets extremely huge. Please collect them all before the planet gets huge. Uh, come on. There we go, and there's our launch star, and that is where the secret mission lies. Let's go! Now this one takes forever if you're not exactly sure on how to do it. Alright, what you have to do is... Alright, hold on, let me get a bullet bill to spawn here. Come on. You need a bullet bill. You need to, um, bring it somewhere. Come on. Can you please appear before my eyes? Alright, now follow me, please. Oh, don't explode! You know what? I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna get up here. And maybe it will appear before me. Come here. Oh, for Christ's sakes, no! Ugh! Actually, what you can do is, I believe you can spin like this, and maybe you'll get high enough to get its attention. Please show up. Please? Please? Oh, thank goodness gracious. Alright, you're gonna want to bring this bullet bill over here to the star. And there you go! And of course, it has to be all the way up there. Of course it does. A freaking course it does, man. And that means you're gonna want to do this. Oh my god. I just want to be done with this galaxy because I'm running out of commentary at this point for it. Like, come on. Hurry up and get up here. And there is our star and this galaxy is over. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm excited. I'm so pumped, man. I'm so pumped. Okay. So, what do we have for time here? 13... I don't think that makes an episode, believe it or not. I don't think it does. But actually, you know what I'm going to do? Well, actually, what am I going to do? I believe I'm going to do the Bowser mission. Yeah, let's finish up this galaxy of what we can do in it, because I'm getting sick of this freaking dome right now. We've been here way too long with that one galaxy. But what is this mission called again? What is it called? This is Darkness on the Horizon, Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. No, I absolutely love the design on this galaxy. Just look at all that. It's like, oh man. And the dark matter makes everything so much better. Like, it, I know it's instant. Like, that's all this stuff is dark matter. It's insta kill. So I would be cautious. And uh, take your time. But probably for me, I'm not going to take my time at all because I can. I'm pretty good with this galaxy. I do remember not struggling with as much as a kid. I just love the. I just love this. Oh crap! Okay, I, I need to get up here. There we go. I just like how the. Even though the gravity changes, it completely changes. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But you see, we're face. We're on the right, and now we're gonna be facing down. It's just. I, it's, I just like that concept. It's so cool. All right, can I get up here? Thank you. Before it disappears on me. All right, let's just go up here. 
Okay, so we go up here, and these freaking holes, you can actually fall down them and die. And then you have these hole things that have dark, dark matter. And if you fall down those, you're obviously screwed. I wonder what, I wonder, like, like, um, I wonder if scientists ever found, like, dark matter or black holes. Because I've, I mean, I don't know if black holes really exist or not. They probably do, but it's a pretty interesting topic. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a huge sci, I'm not a scientist or I don't know, I don't, I actually don't know anything about space or whatever, so. I wouldn't know if they had found, if they even found black holes or not, so. I'm just rambling on at this point, I just gotta stop talking. <laughs> but then again, if I stop talking, the commentary gets so dull. It was probably already boring already, because I'm just talking out of nothing right now. Alright, I gotta be careful, so I'm gonna want to... Oh! Okay, that's what I want to do. Now this part right here is probably my favorite part of this galaxy. Because you have to go through the four different uh, gravity directions, and you have to land on it based upon what you think is going to happen. So since I'm going to land over here because we're going to be the gravity's going to be pushing us up after we land on it and then we got to land like this. I just I just like that concept. I really do. So now we got to get over here cuz then it's going to push us to the left. Like so. Oh, it's just so cool. So um, what what games have you guys been playing lately? I've still been playing Majora's Mask. I've been playing the heck out of it lately. And it's really fun, because now that I know what I'm actually supposed to do in this game, it just gets more fun that way. And after you save that Luma, he makes stairs appear. And there's your health extension mushroom, or whatever you call it, a health extension, or a health mushroom. Alright, now where's Bowser? He should be appearing sometime here. Here we go! Hey, Bowser! We haven't seen you in quite some time since the first... No, since the second galaxy, or the second dome. Which was the fountain. Alright, Bowser. You're not going to be as... Well, you are going to be the, as annoying. Because this fight is the same as the first time we fought him. Yeah. It hasn't changed. Except he gets some new attacks. Like that spinny move. The, the, but the uh, objective is still the same. You need to get him in the lava. And then you have to spin his tail like that. And then you have to spin him again when it comes full circle. Like so. Do that three times and you got this mission in the bag. Like I mentioned though, he does have some new tricks up his sleeve. I don't know if the fire was one of them. But he does get a cool spin attack like we do with our spin attack. He has one as well and I am just sucking this boss fight bad. <laughs> okay, I did not mean it like that. He's... I'm sucking at this boss. I'm not sucking the boss bad. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. No, 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 no. We are not dying in this boss. We're not doing it. Holy crap. Alright, so Bowser. Alright, thank you. I, I better not die in this boss, or else I'm going to be kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. Alright, Bowser. Get get over here. There we go. Now you have one more hit to go. I'm going to get a coin, so I don't take any more stupid hits for no reason. Oh, wow. Alright. Just bring me back up here. Why not? And please don't fall in the fire. Please. Alright, yeah, you can do your ground pound. That makes you so cool. Makes you so cool, doesn't it? Oh! Alright, you're gonna, you're gonna do this three times. Because he adds a new spin for every hit you do to him. And then you're gonna do this. Perfect. Alright, this should be the last hit. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, this is so unpredictable when Bowser just starts doing this nonsense. No, I missed him! No! Come back here, you fool! Spin. Okay, go, go, go. And then fast, come on. There we go. Bowser has been defeated. He has been annihilated. All right, Bowser, what do you got to say about that? Bah! No, but I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch nemesis. At least you always put up a fight. Yes, the master plan is almost complete. What do you mean by that? Yes, I know it said arch enemy instead of arch nemesis, but arch nemesis sounds more badass. And look at that, the Grand Star was inside this planet the whole time. Oh boy. Let's go ahead and collect it. This is our fifth Grand Star. We are really collecting those things. Like non-stop, man. And Mario just sounds so excited about it too. He's like, Woohoo! <laughs> oh well. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Alright, let's see what color it's going to turn this time. 
Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. It shall turn even more blue! And that's my favorite color blue, too. It's so cool. And look at that. With the fifth uh, Grand Star, it opens up the next dome. Wait, was that? F yeah, that was five. And look at this. This is the engine room dome, the fifth dome. And we have 62 stars. And the galaxy is complete. And we got some nice star bits out of the deal. And we discovered all the new freaking galaxies in the dome. Mom. We have it staring the location of your special one. Please take a look at the circle by your feet. Huh. It says one. That number represents the number of power stars you need to reach the center of the universe. That number will decrease with each power star. And when it reaches zero, the common Azori tool will regain full power and fly as an airship again. A starship. And then we'll be able to reach the center of the universe. And I'm going to save. <laughs> so with that being said... Wait, what? The common Azori has full power! What? Are you telling me we could already go to the center of the universe and save Princess Peach? Oh, crap. <laughs> We're going to wait on that one. Please speak to me again when you're all ready. Okay, so you do have the option to go ahead and save Princess Peach. Now, a little something to note. After you save Princess Peach from Bowser, you get access to more Power Stars in the game. You get access to a new type of Prankster combat that we have not experienced. So in order to 100% the game, you have to beat the game twice, or the final boss twice. I'm going to do the final boss for the first time off screen so that when we come back we will have access to new types of stars I know that sounds well I guess it makes sense because I don't want to show the final boss twice I want to get it done in one go and not show it twice because that just seems redundant to show the final boss twice so I guess with that being said I'm gonna end this video off next time on Super Mario Galaxy after I beat the final boss off screen we will have access to a new type of stars or a new type of prankster comment which we will show off so with that being said, you guys, I will see you next time for more Super Mario Galaxy.